hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for mde tutorial microsoft defender for endpoint so today's video is all about how you can use the advanced hunting query in the microsoft 365 defender so let me move it to the security center microsoft 365 defender portal now we are here in the portal it's just it's loading now just now i clicked here and uh, in my last video i showed you how you can use the incidents L alert or how you can work on that alerting part which is generated by the uh, microsoft 365 now here is today's topic is all about to advance hunting how you can use the advanced and hunting query in uh, microsoft 365 defender or how you can pull the data logs data from the end user device so this advanced hunting uh, is used to pull the data from endpoint device like you need to monitor what are the fireball is getting blocked or you require to fetch the uh, port is getting blocked application is getting blocked or on the which ip which port or any devices getting blocked the right access or the read access you want to know that or anything other status like the virus definition from the client side or their health status antivirus is enabled or not the tvm is enabled or not their sensors is working or not so all these required information you can pull by using the advanced hunting so i am under here i clicked on the advanced hunting and these are the schema which is uh, called like a tables and if you need any of the details you can use uh, these schema these tables and you can write it a kql query so all these uh, uh the kql skill set is required to uh, understand or to work on these uh, part so this is totally depend on the kql logic these are the kql queries here so let's see the device info let's pull the data for this uh, table and now here you can see in the we have the certain data about the devices so uh i can just quickly show you uh, the how you can write suppose where you want to use where command and uh, that is a device name you can go here and just put it like double equal to and put it the double code put the name over here so let's click on this put it the value here suppose you want you need a detail about this device so you can use the filter you can use the summarize you can use the project so they are the uh the many terms to use this kql and it's a uh, it's work similar like the sql if you worked on the sql part or this kql i will be creating a separate tutorial complete tutorial how you can work on the kql and how you can write the kql queries so all these terms will be in a separate uh, um, tutorial for here i want to show you how you can use the existing kql query if you have the any kql query how you can use inside the portal so if you want to use this uh, uh this uh, schema so you can use the kql query now let me show you something which already i saved here in my the portal so oh, here it's not saying properly let me see okay now it's saying completely so here i saved like antivirus troubleshooting mode ab uh, product version count so just let me double click here and what is inside so this query is used to fetch the details about your the ab product version so now run it and you will get the device count based on your the ab product version so it will uh, uh i have the three devices in my defender and uh, the ab product version is this so you can use this query to pull out uh, your data for the ab product version i have uh, saved like a traffic blocks uh the device id blocks and all these things so let me go with the os device count suppose you want to pull the data about the uh operating system how many types of operating system running in your uh infra so now just run this and it will give you the output how many uh, many windows servers mac os ios so i have windows 10 three devices i have in my uh, entire infra now here is a uh, one more tab that's called uh, uh, last 70s 
or this is a time stamp when the user lo uh, user connected with your the defender for endpoint so this is for the uh, seven days data and maximum data you can pull out for the 30 days so more than 30 days data you cannot pull out so here is a 30 days data if you want to go for the 24 hour you can use the 24 hour as well and you can modify inside it like uh, the time range you can assign it here if if you don't want to use it like if you want to the five days or if you want to the four days which is not listed here or you can go with the custom range as well so you can put the date and you can put the time so start and end you can put the range if you need it some data in between that and uh, here is like suppose you have some uh, query already you created a query and you want to save it so these all these query i saved uh, let's take an example. Let me go to the quick uh, new query and uh, I worked on this query And once I finalize these queries, let me give it to you this The where device device name equal to double code and put it here like this okay now suppose you worked on any query and you want to save that query and uh, again and again uh, uh, again and again you want to use this query so you can save this query once you have finalized any of the query in the portal so let it run first so now here is the data suppose you done with your query and you want to save it for the use so here is the option save as now you can put it the name here like uh, testing I can put it device info you can put the query name what is the purpose of this query and now saved it here in your the folder what you have created it will be on your with the company name now you saved it and that folder can be accessed to your entire team anyone can use to use it so now go to the query and uh, let me just close this and show you again so here under the query we have uh, created here testing device info so double click here and the query will be there so that's how you can save your query for reuse it now here we have some uh, the query provided by microsoft that can be used for your pulling the data if anything is the usable for your and here is the lot of queries like troubleshooting inside we have the device info let me go this and here is the query this is provided by the uh, microsoft let's run it and let's see what type of data it will provide so it's giving you the device or connectivity failure by the device when try uh, when the device was trying to connect uh, with the defender and it got failure so this device's uh, laptop it was 22 times was failure which is, it was failed to connect your the defender now here is a, another device which was failed for the 15 times so it depends like which query is useful for you you can go here and can uh, run it can use it and uh, once you finalize this is very helpful for your infra so you can save this type of query in your uh, uh, inside your the queries now here is uh, something more what i can show you so yes when you are pulling the data suppose uh, you have pulled out the data for the device compliance so this query will give you the compliance status and you have a more than 10,000 entry or the devices in your company. So that complete data cannot be pulled. Only the maximum 10,000 uh, entries can be pulled one time. So when you are running a, any advanced hunting query, you are using the KQL. So only the 10,000 items can be pulled at a time, not more than it. So it's a restrictions and here is like a or is one more restrictions more than 30 days old data you cannot pull from this kql query so guys uh, that's how you can use it i will be creating a kql uh, tutorial very soon so you can learn the how you can use the kql 
the steps how you can use the project conditions where extend and all those things so i'm preparing the tutorial so you will be getting soon thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my the next video